Oh, hello, Scarlet. Good morning. What? Well, uh, good, good morning. Mo good morning. Um, it's still so early. Did something happen? Yes. Special orders just came in from headquarters. Um, that sounds heavy. What's the order? Yes. Our task is to locate a man who's wanted for poaching ruin energy. Huh? A ruin poacher? You don't mean? Yes. It's Oswald. Why? Just as I, just as you thought. Huh? Which means he was the man with the dark dragon in the Melian Crystal Caverns? Yes. That seems likely. I'll give you a full briefing in the field captain's office. Shit, okay. Well, that's suspicious. Mm -hmm. So Oswald really did escape. Yes. Reporting in. Seed HQ conducted a thorough search, but ultimately they couldn't track him down. That's... So they placed him on a wanted list. Let's be off then. Should we prepare to launch a search? Well, no. No, I don't think that will be necessary. Why? I think the the dude, whatever his name was, let him let him go. Hmm. The area they assigned us to survey is extremely dangerous. Um. Oh, where is it? Atoll's End. Yes. That place is cursed. Normally it's off limits even to see its finest rangers. Do you mean cursed metaphorically or Yes. Those who enter go mad if they manage to make it out alive at all. Make it out alive at all. Yes. Their hair turns white or they become back mute or they lose their sight. Needless to say, it's surrounded in sinister rumors. Um Surely there, there's no way that Oswald would hole up in a place like that, right? Yeah. Well, then I guess we're back to square one. Well, no. I'm afraid you misunderstand us. Uh. Oswald has a good reason to take that risk, curse or no. Huh? What do you mean? Yes. Inside Atoll's End is a ruined spot of the same elemental affinity as the Dark Dragon. <gasps> right. Were he to absorb the ruined energy there, he could transfer incalculable power to his dra dra draconic partner in crime. <sighs> For a fugitive with the, with the law on his hill and his back to the wall, it's a surefire shot at turning the tables. <sighs> if he gains enough power, he could fall off the grid for good or even take the fight to seat itself. Um... But if that's the case, I then I wonder why he didn't make a beeline for a toll's end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm confident that he went only as of last resort. He likely had no interest in braving those dangers. Until now. <sighs> I, I see. I'll go. What? <gasps> no, the place is cursed! You said it yourself! Yes. If there's even a chance that Oswald will show his face, then it is my obligation to be there. Well... After all, I... we are rangers of seed. Mm -hmm. Are you okay, Scarlet? Your legs are shaking. This is... I am merely trembling with excitement. Now then. And what will you do, Alice? Uh, of course I'll go with her. Yes! I just can't let Scarlet go alone. Huh? Th thank you, Alice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fine, but please don't bite off more than you can chew. Hey! Just a moment, Scarlet. I need to tell you something. Understood. Please. Atoll's end, really? Over there? Okay. How's our little town today? Think you can find us in like two or three new neighbors? It's not like I'm running around trying to recruit people and you know. That's funny. I led Lucas to the empty house in the southern part of town. When we arrived, he snapped his fingers and suddenly a huge pile of books appeared beside him. I must say, his magic tricks are quite impressive. They're not magic. They're real. Alright, unless something happens when we walk out, we're gonna do our daily chores. 
All right, we're gonna go talk to Derek. We're gonna talk to some people around town that we don't usually talk to to get their friendship up. Oh, looks like Martin actually has a quest for us. I'd love to know what you think of my weapons. Apparently nobody knows in the world knows where in the world Lucas came from. All we do know is that he's good at magic tricks and, and praising gems. Doesn't seem like a bad guy to me. Or maybe he had a thing to say about Lucas, that's what it is. I guess everyone does now. Hello there. Lucas is real good at magic, but he knows his way around with a spear too. I caught him staring at one we had for sale, decided to give it to him as a housewarming gift. He shocked me when he started swinging it like a master. Time. Thanks. Also, I decided to bring Pam along, because why not? We're gonna say hi to Terry next. Good work today. That Lucas guy is a strange one. He has no idea where he's from or even how old he is, yet for whatever reason that doesn't seem to bother him in the slightest. He reminds me a lot of you, actually. You both got my attention, that's for sure. Oh. Lucas is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an en enigma. Isn't he just awesome, Alice? How does he make stuff disappear like that? I wonder if he can do it from a distance, too. Could the answer be in his notebook, do you think? I have so many questions, I hardly know where to start. I think in his notebook is everything and anything he has written down about everything. Which is a lot. chocolate a lot, but guess what? I like fruit smoothies even more. Can I just talk to you? Is that it? Okay. Let's go pick up Julian. We'll bring the children along. Oh, great. <laughs> Lucas knows the best magic tricks. I just love watching them. In fact, I was having so much fun that I kind of forgot to head home until it was already really dark. Boy, Mom sure wasn't happy about that. I bet she wasn't. Bad chance you'll never be anything but my rival. Whatever you say, then I'll make sure I'm a worthy opponent. <laughs> well. Nothing in it? Lucas 
told me he likes books. I'm so glad that another bookworm has moved in. Do you think he might if I give him a list of recommendations? Oh, that Lucas. He knows so much, even more than Randolph and myself. I lived in Rootbath my entire life, you know. I can hardly wait to ask him all sorts of questions about the rest of the world. Headgear. <laughs> Engagement ring? Jeez. Monkey plush? Oh, that's it. says Lucas is moving in. I gave him a bowl of udon earlier. I think he liked it. Hmm. Hey, I hate to interrupt but Fuko's asking for you. She was? Oh, I can't take a map first. What a drag. I don't know, Elja. Feeling well? Lucas is moving to the empty house located in the southern part of town. I hear he's already take, been take, talking to people over in the Great Tree Plaza. With a neighbor like him, I expect Rickworth is about to get livelier than ever. in a very pleasant mood today. I've noticed that everyone in town seems to be in high spirits as well. I came to talk to you, Lucas. Uh -huh. I heard that you now have some familiarity with Magic Alice. I would appreciate an opportunity to observe how you wield a staff at some point, if you wouldn't mind. Um, I mean, when you put it like that, sure. Hello there. And so our little town welcomes yet another fascinating resident. His match. oh, there's a, there's a typo. His magic trick suggests that he's quite deft with his hands. I think he could take. I think he could bake a tasty loaf of bread if he tried. Where's Heinz? Oh, he's at Palmos. Wow, I didn't expect Lucas to take up my offer to mine the shop. I guess it never hurts to ask, eh? Now that I've increased the size of my staff, I guess I'll have to increase the size of my inventory next. Maybe I could ask Lucas to make some crystals fall from the sky for me. I don't... I don't think that's how that works, Hines. Since you're underground, they probably just haven't noticed. I see, maybe I'll make the floor see-through so people can catch sight of me from the surface. But if someone asks for a raise, then I'll have to break the glass ceiling. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're a brilliant ball of sunshine. It's a miracle what marvelous magic Lucas wields, and they say he is moving in, too. I'm over the moon, over and twice around it. I will watch his performances each and every day. 
That's cool, Pal Palmo. Now we have three Please dragons. Take your time. It's less expensive to build an extra home, barn B, for our monsters than to add time. a room to an existing barn. Huh. I haven't even looked at my other dragons. That's the problem. Please take your time. I guess I'm gonna expand um, Lack of Daisy. Maybe we'll get two loaves of recipe bread a day. I don't think we have the frying pan. Please take your time. Take your time. Yeah, we'll buy the frying pan. Find everything you need and a few things you didn't. Let's talk to Riker before we leave. Hey, buddy. So that Lucas guy is moving in, huh? I'm gonna figure out the trick behind those tacky miracles of his. Just you watch. <laughs> so tell me, what do you usually do at night? That question came out of nowhere. What, are you curious about me? I just noticed that you're a night owl, so I was wondering what you get up to during those hours. <laughs> Where are you now? Well, during that time, I draw upon the power of my fellow denizens of the night and... Yeah, I think I've heard enough. <laughs> Aww! Did he actually want to tell me? Wait, our, our thing changed. It went to by the way. <laughs> I think he was actually excited to tell us. <laughs> Alright, did we talk to everyone? No, we need to go talk to Reinhard, Morakuma, and Beatrice, and then Serendip Serendipity. Oh, 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 don't forget our frickin' frying pan. Jeez. Something amiss. Alice, may uh, I ask your opinion of Lucas? Um Huh? Why? Well, he appears to be an elegant, well mannered gentleman. It's entirely possible that he has some connection to a noble house. I personally do not suspect he harbors any ill will towards Lady Beatrice, but I cannot rely on my judgment alone. Hence why I seek your opinion on the matter. What is your assessment of his character? I don't blame you for being cautious, but you have nothing to worry about. He's a decent person. Captain Livia and Simon both seem really happy to hear he wa he was moving in. If he has their seal of approval, then I think I don't think he's likely to cause any trouble. Firstly, and I'm happy to have another neighbor who seems to delight in making people smile. Duly noted. Hmm, I understand. Well then, I think I shall make also make an effort to make friends with Lucas. Aw, Reinhardt's really wholesome, honestly. Oh, what was that? Great.
while I'm here, I'm gonna give um, Julie and Hina better equipment. Nobody knows for sure who Lucas really is, but you know what? There's no, there's just something about the guy that makes him easy to trust. I mean, he already seems to feel at home here. Where the heck did he come from, though? Hina is utterly enchanted by Lucas's magic performance, so much that I am growing a little concerned. I must remind her to come home in time for dinner. That is concerning. Welcome. What is it? What is it? Thank you. Did the seeds you purchased from us take well to the soil, Alice? I hope you will continue to purchase more seeds, grow more crops, and ship more produce. We here at Serendipity, Serendipity humbly await your next visit. I like Nisa. She's so pretty. can like it was the most interesting thing in the world. Are they really that interesting? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. So you expanded the restaurant for me? Uh, was it too much? Nope, not at all. In fact, now that the restaurant's a bit nicer, I feel like working a bit harder. Just a bit, huh? Oh yeah, I also tried expanding our menu. Give it a look at some time. Still not willing to put in the effort to make that sales pitch. <laughs> Yeah, we can get two now. So expensive. What else do you have for sale? Welcome. Mm hmm. Just, just butter. Just straight butter. Uh, thanks. Come again. Who's out here eating straight butter? There she is. Lucas is as dignified as he is polite, a perfect gentleman. I would almost say he seems a bit of noble birth, but I don't believe we met prior to this. I wonder from which nation he hails. How do normal friends enjoy each other's company? Alice, could you tell me the answer to that question? Uh, I think everyone has a different definition of normal. Alright, I think we're gonna go talk to Moro Kimo, and then we're set to go do whatever for the day. Yo. Looks like our new friend Lucas is a fan of the baths. He looked strangely shocked when I told him to enjoy marinating himself. He took it well, though. The guy came out looking like a prune. Didn't surprise me. A good hot soak can knock anyone's pants off. Uh, figuratively, I mean. <laughs> Murakuma, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Alright, I believe we talked to everyone in town. We have a quest to capture a monster. So we're gonna go do that with the children. Bringing the children along. I'll try to remember to heal consistently. Since I don't think Julian nor Hina can heal. 
I souped them up as well. Pretty sure I cut that out. I'm not really too sure where, uh, wait, what is that? Can we? Oh, yeah. oh. can use our thingy to pull things to us. I'll keep that in mind for later. I know there was like one ho hovering above the water somewhere. Get him, Julian. Punch him. Punch that bird. I think it was over here, actually. I could aim and if the game would not lag I, f I really feel like they should have fixed the lag stuff in the docked version oh shit there's our monster we need to capture can I just capture it no nope. All right, we caught it, kids. It's okay. We're fine. We can turn that into uh, Livia. Nice. All right. What the hell? Oh, it's above us. I was like, what is this noise that I'm hearing? <laughs> here or am I thinking somewhere else I mean I don't see it so probably not here Elsha has a raise the level of the restaurant by expanding it. Studio Palmo, which we already did. <laughs> I wish there was an easier way to, for two people to cook together. If only we could do some co-op cooking. But didn't I do that, or do I have to do it again? Oh come on, <laughs> really? 
Elja, I just, I just upgraded it. I just expanded it. Olivia, here's the monster request. Is there another one we can do? I guess the slime? Boros Woodland, sited in the northwest region. I don't think we've been to that side yet. Oh shit. Big apple. All right, we're not gonna... Northwest. Never. What if it's like here or something? Actually, it might be this way. Let's teleport to this and go get it. been this way. I think we tried going this way once and it was like, nah, it's too hard over there, so we stopped. these guys. What's further up here? Mushrooms. <gasps> Wait. Oh god! There's a slime dude here. Is he actually here? Alright kids, don't kill it! Got it. Two and one. Oh, you can fish here. A little nice little fishing spot up here. Clippers, the woolies, or fleecy, whoever did it. Look, a chest.
is really big when you're trying to level up people. difficult. Maybe we can still do it? No. No, we cannot. Yikes. Alright, we're gonna teleport back. light of your outstanding achievements, we hereby promote you to Aspiring Ranger. As a reward for your service, I'm granting you a one-time bonus of a thousand... Wow. We got a new crest? What's that? Alright, I got a companion crest. Now I can ask people I don't know very well to join me on an adventure. Keep up the good work, Ranger. Thank you. Those are all very hard. Wow. I guess we can do two stars now. We also need to go do Martin's thing. His little love thing. His first heart event. Oh! Hello, Martin! Hi, Martin. I hope you didn't have to- didn't wait long. Let's get going. Let's go. Yeah. Yo, evening, you two. Right. Thank, thank you for letting us stay the night, Murakumo. No prob. The baths are all yours tonight, so make yourself at home. Thanks. We're, we're bathing in separate baths anyway. Oh, we're gonna eat together though. Hello. Sorry, I hope you didn't wake long. The bath was so comfortable that I dozed off for a minute. Good. It's okay, I just got out myself. I see. Um, is there something on my face? No. Oh, he's blushy! Oh, he's cute! How cute. Wait, are we sharing a bed? Surely not. Mmm, dinner was really, really good. Right. It sure was. Could you tell Murakuma put? A, you could tell that Murakuma put a lot of effort into making it. You look sleepy. Feels like that long soak in the bath made me lose my focus. As it should have. You need to relax more. Derek agrees. He told me that no one can make you to can make a good blade if they're feeling tense all the time. 
Master Derek. Master Derek said that? Is that so? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Good night. Shit. That's it. It's Morty! Wait! <laughs> you can't do that to me! Thanks for the hospitality, Morokuma. I woke up feeling completely refreshed. I bet we don't use just any old bath water here. We've got the good stuff. Alice, I appreciate you inviting me out. The stiffness in my shoulders is gone and my mind feels sharper than ever. Thanks. Now I understand what everyone meant when they said that it's important to rest. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad I could help. Now I can work even longer and harder than before. That's... That's not what we... That's not... Oh, jeez. He really didn't get it at all, did he? The guy's, the guy's a workaholic, yeah, but he's not dense. The importance of rest as well as your concern for him made it through loud and clear. Have some faith in him now, will you? You know what? I will. Bruh, it is not the next day. <laughs> this man made it the ne <laughs> made it so it's the next day. No effing way. <laughs> I didn't know that's what was gonna happen. No! <laughs> All right, we're gonna go home, I guess, and do our, do our daily chores. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you.